Yo, boys, what's up? How you doing, sexy Sam Water Squad? We're back playing some Paragon. Now, this is a ranked game. Uh, did I mean it to be ranked? No, no, absolutely, I didn't. But it is a ranked game. I am a top 100 player on the server right now, which is saying a lot considering this game has more players than Smite at the moment. Um, but I am a top 100 jungle main, so I want to show you guys a little secret to uh, to climb the ranks whenever Overprime actually releases again. Because by the time this video goes up, Overprime servers will be down. And the game will actually release on December 8th. And I want to give you guys a little tip to climb the ranks a little bit. Just, just a little bit faster. So, um... As you might know, if you've watched any of my Overprime videos so far, uh, hold on, sorry. I want to make sure that they don't invade my blue. But um, tanks are pretty overpowered. Now, obviously, assassins are also overpowered. I've been playing a lot of Fang Mao. I've been playing a lot of Xena. I've been playing a lot of Kalari. I've been playing a lot of Grux. You know, a jungle, a jungle mains repertoire, if you will. Um, but the best thing about jungle is that you can play it all sorts of different ways right now in this game. It's kind of OP, I want to say. And, uh, one of the ways that you can play him is as Severog, you can just straight up clear things. So easily, man. Hold on. Oh. I'm gonna get my blue. Stop hitting me. Thank you. Um, but as Severog, what you can do is because I'm Severog, I get to um I get to spam my Q. Now my Q doesn't do that much damage right out the gate. Honestly, it doesn't do too much damage ever. But what it does do is it slowly stacks up. Um, Hold on. I can't even hear myself think. Give me a second. It slowly stacks up. And um, every stack you get, you actually get 10 or you actually get three max HP. So... By sitting here, just slowly stacking with my Q. Not only am I doing more damage with it, but I am, uh, I'm getting more maximum HP. And as you see on the little button itself, you can see that it says seven. That seven is actually how many stacks I have. So now it says 10 because you get three stacks for killing the epic jungle monsters. So you can really, really stack it up. You know, I already have 30 bonus HP. And you can couple that. Like Severog's bonus HP. You can couple that by going into um really tanky. And just having so much so much health, I guess. So much health and defense. And it leads to almost almost free rp really like you are just so tanky in the late game now i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie oh hold on i wonder if we can kill him Oh, I just got right click. They triple rotated in. Our boys are dead. Oh, I'm, I have a Shinbi mid. That's why. Shinbi mid is not Pog IMO. But anyways, what I'm what I'm gonna say, Severog jungle. With you stacking his Q up, 
getting all that HP. And then, um, I hate that wall. I always bounce off of it on accident. But stacking his HP and then stacking defense on top of that. Like, if you go first item Zim's toy, it's over, dude. What are they going to do about it? An extra two stacks there. An extra three stacks there. Maybe I do a little dash in. A little smiterooski. Very, very slowly knocking these boys down. Oh, that's annoying that I didn't kill. I have to wait. There we go. It really does not do a lot of damage, I'll be honest. All right, I can level it up again. I want to get Zim's toy here, but I wanted to farm for 1,400 gold so I could get this item first. Basically gives me protections from both different types, as well as 5% cooldown. Now, as... Severog, you want a lot of defense and you want a lot of cooldown because obviously uh, Jor lived, which is great. Good job, bro. We got 22 stacks. By the way, whenever that jungle minion jumps, when he like goes to snipe you or whatever, you can actually jump up and hit him again. You don't have to wait. Oh, that is annoying. I'm going to just fight you, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing, guy? Sure, you stole my red, but you also died. Oh, what the? Oh, he was backing there. He was low HP and he was just backing there. I was like, wait, what the hell? I swear I saw someone here. <laughs> okay, okay. I see what happened. I got to get this thing really low. There we go. 26 stacks. Let's go. I can grab this and this, making me more tanky. That was a bit of a weird play by them. I got uh, I got an assist off the jungler, the Grux, who's actually ahead of me right now because of the early mid lane play. Um... And then I also just straight up killed him there. Like, I got the assist on him, and then I straight up killed the Wraith, who for some reason decided to take refuge <laughs> under my tower line. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm coming, man. Oh, man. That is upsetting. That is upsetting. Uh, really all I can do here is gank, so... I don't know. Maybe I'll go for this Wraith. There's the jungle camp over here actually that just spawned. Oh, you're so annoying. There's a couple jungle camps that just spawned here. Mid laner is being a bit aggressive. Um, 
Man, this takes a while, huh? I promise. I promise. It does take a long time early game. Uh, Severog, but, um... I mean, you can already see the stacks rolling in, right? Like, I already have 33 stacks. I already have an extra 100 HP, you know? I will say right now it doesn't look great for us. Well, I mean, it's four to five. It doesn't look horrible. But, um, the tankiness wins late game. And look at the team comps, dude. They have zero tankiness. I got my Zim's toy. Assuming that, uh, oh, let's go, dude. You actually lived and not only lived, but got the kill. Awesome play, dude. Awesome play. Let's see. I am behind this Grux by a couple levels, like I said, because Grux is clear. Very, very, very good. My clear. Very, very not good. But picking Severog is not the early play. It's the late game play. Why are you chasing him? Why would he do that? Yeah, the Wraith is level 9. He's ahead. I don't know why he would... I don't know why he would run there. Weird. Oh, they got the prime. They got the underling in top lane. I gotta go help that. I'm coming. Oh, I actually got stacks for that, dude. I actually lost him with my Q and got stacks for that. That's nice. Oh, my next item I want to get is the um, the reflect item, which is this claw. What the claw is going to do, other than reflect 20% of the damage I take back, which is amazing. It's going to give me a lot of magical defense, which is good because Zim's is mainly physical. So getting that is going to average me out to be a pretty decent tank. I'm just going to wait for this. It's only got four seconds left. And we are actually ahead now. Even though we're down a tower, but we're adding kills. Nice. This now does about 300, a little over 300 damage. I want to kill this Wraith, but unless you're Fang Mao, you can't really kill a Wraith. I'm going to knock that guy into tower because he already used his Q on me, which means he should be straight up dead. Nice. Okay, you should probably run. What are you going to do to me, bro? What are you guys going to do to me? Honestly. I will win this fight. Three of you and ultimates. You still can't kill me? A little sad, huh? There we go. There we go. That tankiness really works, dude. That Revenant wants me. Holy. Look at that. Grux die. Grux die. Let's go, dude. I'm telling you, man. People don't expect it. People just don't expect it. You're just so incredibly tanky. I have 59 stacks. Each stack gives me 3 HP. So I have almost 180 extra HP. Right? I have 180 extra HP. And I'm building de defense. So they commit so hard on me because I'm the jungler, right? They're like, oh, he's the jungler. There's no way he's going to out-tank me. He's going to go for kills, right? He's probably AP Severog. Nope. Nope. I am the tankiest mf -er you will ever see. This is 
such a free way to win, man. Sixty-six stacks now. Go for this boy. All right, I'm gonna Q. Last hit, thank you. Q, last hit, thank you. 70 fat stacks. I'm now 210 extra HP than I should have. Um, I need 800 gold actually for that. I do have smite, I could just do this. The allied tower is under attack. I could actually gank this revenant. Oh, he blinked. Okay, blink down. Let's see. Got Narbosh going in. My Shinbi is going in. A little deep. A little deep. My Rampage is there. I am here. And I will alt them that way. Amazing play. And root. My root didn't hit. That's weird. Perfect. And honestly, we're tanky. We can we can just keep going. This is tank meta, baby. Tank meta baby. Annoying. Um. Let's see, I kind of want to go get my red buff, so I think I will just go get my red buff. I can jump and dash. That Revenant left the game after he couldn't get the kill. That's funny. One thing I will say that I really like about Severog, um, Severog Jungle specifically, is that... Um, is that you don't need to build damage to do damage like building him tanky first off that's like the way you should build Severog just in general he is a tank but you you can build him ap and i'm not going to judge you it'll be funny um but you can tank objectives for your team which normally junglers cannot do you know He's going to reset the underling because he ran out. Well, thank you. That's annoying. But, like, look at my HP. I'm not losing any of it. I got it. Doofus. Perfect. What the? What are you? What? What is the game plan here? Why do you guys keep running in here acting like you're going to do something to me? And you! What's your game plan? Get rooted, doofus! He's stealth. I'm chasing him. I'm chasing him! He's right here! I swear! I'm not making it up! <laughs> he altered so nobody could see. Oh my god. And that's the surrender, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Top 100 jungle says free RP, get to GM instantly. It's so easy. Look at this. I did almost no damage. I did 8,000 damage, but look at my damage reduced. I'm just in there permanently and always. Even my solo laner couldn't compete. My Narbosh couldn't compete. My solo laner couldn't compete. No one on their team even came remotely close. And I still did 8,000 damage, you know? Like, I still did almost more damage than than a lot of people in this game. Even my mid laner I did more damage than. So it gets, it gets pretty insane building like this, and it is so, so, so worth it. I recommend you guys give it a shot at the very least whenever this game launches. I want to see some tank Severogs in my game. And I, I want to see some Rampage solos. I want to see, and this is a video I haven't done yet, but I am going to do it. I want to see some more Wraith mids. Wraith mid is super, super underrated. And probably one of the best mid laners in the game next to Gadget and Howitzer. So 
yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe so we can hit the algorithm until next time y'all peace